on games up, we will be playing World's Fair 1893, or Weltausstellung 1893 in German, the area control and set collection game designed by J. Alex Kevern and published by Asmodee in Germany. In World's Fair 1893, you are an organizer of the World's Fair in Chicago and are charged with finding the best exhibits to put on display at this international spectacle. On a player's turn, they will place one of their supporter cubes on one of the five exhibit areas. Any character card obtained in the round before comes into effect now. The player then takes up the cards from this area. Any midway tickets that were taken up move the ferris wheel. New cards are then added to the ferris wheel and the next player takes their turn. The round ends after one full rotation of the ferris wheel. A scoring round then takes place. The player with the majority of supporter cubes in one area may approve their exhibits of that area type. After three rounds, the final scoring takes place. Money from midway tickets, prizes, and sets of exhibits are scored. I'm starting player, and my start bonus is to put um, a cube down in the gray manufacturing exhibit. Mm -hmm. And I get one on the transportation and also the agriculture. Okay, so I'm going to start and I'm coming here to the fine arts exhibit, mm -hmm. taking up these two cards. I get a, a guy, George, and he's going to help me next round. And then I got a gray exhibit card. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have to, after this, we always have to reveal new cards. So one where we put down a guy and then two more. Mm -hmm. and clockwise. Good. So I can now choose where I like to go. Mm -hmm. It's mostly like an area control game and we want to have the most cubes on one spot later on. Mm -hmm. And I'm deciding to take the electricity. Mm -hmm. I take these three cards. Okay. I'm also getting another charge. Davis. Oh, is another draw. Oh, okay, I have to <laughs> distinguish them with their last name. And <laughs> I put down like two proposed exhibitions. Proposed. Yes. And we play three rounds, and in my, always in this uh, in between rounds, we can hopefully um, approve them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now cards. Again. So you took my yellow move that I was looking to do. So instead I have to find a new spot, I'm going to come to the blue transportation exhibit. Mm -hmm. um, and then I get to use George Westinghouse mm -hmm. and I can put down, a, I have to put down a cube. Yeah, you in can the certainly yellow. not save um, yeah. the special cards. So I have to use him right away on this turn, he goes away. And then I pick up the cards that I got at the blue exhibit, which is two midway tickets and a red proposed exhibit. The midway tickets move the cabin around. Mm -hmm, of the and as wheel. soon as it comes back, you we finished one round. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the midway tickets they come here, and then the red exhibition. Okay. Here's a lot going on right now. Yeah, the agriculture exhibit looks pretty, pretty nice actually. I've something of everything, or a little bit of everything. Yeah, this is, I think, why I also go there. Mm -hmm. And now I have to use my, the George Davis, mm -hmm. and I can add another cube to electricity or to fine arts, and mm -hmm. I decided to put one cube to fine mm -hmm. arts. Mm -hmm. And then I take the four cards, which says one midway ticket, so I move around the cabin, and then I take, um, first of all, I take two guys, so of course remove the other guy. <laughs> mm, yes, two guys for next time. And then I get one midway ticket. Mm -hmm. And also another blue exhibition. Okay. So blue is a pretty good one for you. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, yellow. Or no, that's my yellow cube it's is there. The, <laughs> the gray is looking good. Yeah, so I don't have any... Um, anything else to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come to the manufacturing. It's looking pretty nice over there. Um, I don't have a player card, so I can pick up these cards. I get a gray exhibit. I get a midway ticket. So that moves the cabin. 
And then I get two character cards that will help me next round. So we now we have to um, open, reveal the cards again. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna want green, right? Because you have pretty good yeah, I mean, presence I need... at the agriculture exhibit. Yeah. Yeah, this is, I think, why I will put my cube into the fine arts. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Now I have to use my characters. So Berta um, Palmer, um, mm -hmm. I am allowed to move one of my cubes um, or even your cubes mm -hmm. to somewhere else. And I think what I will do is I move your cube from here mm -hmm. to the manufacturing. Oh. And then I get That's one cube nice, in the yeah. green area. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Okay. I hope this was smart, I don't know. Then I there's one midway ticket I which I will pick up and then a green one and another character. Okay. Oh. Well I definitely have a pretty strong presence at the manufacturing. I don't think I need to go there again. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I think I like the looks of the electricity exhibit. Mm -hmm. um, there are no midway tickets, but um, it looks pretty good. I can use my character, so the Daniel guy lets me put down another cube mm -hmm. in the same spot. And then this guy here, another George, he lets me put one down in blue so that I have another cube there. And then I get that pile. I get a blue exhibit, thankfully, and then two characters for next okay. turn. Take the characters. So, very good. Then we can reveal again cards. Hmm, what do I need now? So I have the majority right now green and red, but I don't have so many green and red ones. Mm -hmm. um, I have some blue, so I'm guessing definitely want to Go to the blue one, mm -hmm. then I'm using my Daniel, and I get another <laughs> yeah. blue one, and then mm -hmm. I pick up three cards. So I get one special character for the mm -hmm. red area, mm -hmm. and then I get yeah, oh, well. to, to exhibit, mm -hmm. and then I can reveal the next pile of cards. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. So I think there's no sense in me going to green because you clearly have the majority there. It's a lot to catch up on. But you took away my red cube and that made me sad. <laughs> so um, I think I'm going to go to red. I can put a cube down here. Mm -hmm. um, I have two characters. I have, um, I think it's Daniel. So he lets me put down another yellow. And I have Berta. And she's going to let me move another cube. Um, I could move one of yours. Yeah, maybe I won't be so nice to you and I'll move you to green. So I have the majority now in red and those come away. Mm -hmm. And there's also a midway ticket. So I move the Ferris wheel cabin again. And yeah, that was my turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you put down your midway ticket here. There are not so many midway tickets out so far in this round. Yeah, it's lasting pretty long because yeah. it's... The length is dependent on the midway tickets. But it course. also means that the next one could go faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they. Hmm. Yeah, I think. So when we um, when I win an area, I'm allowed to um, approve three exhibitions, and I have right now two green ones. Mm -hmm. So what I will do is, even though it's an almost too many then in there, but I get two <laughs> midway tickets and overkill. <laughs> so um, I put one there and then Augustus lets me put down no. the red one again. <laughs> the nice thing is I get two midway tickets, so I move mm -hmm. this two twice, so we're getting closer to the, the end. end. Yeah. And then I get my two midway tickets, um, the green the exhibition green. and nice. another Daniel. Another Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I like Daniel. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I will take the manufacturing. It's a little bit overkill, but I get a midway ticket mm -hmm. and I get a yellow, which I definitely want, and a blue that I can save for the next round, even. So, if we count no, no midway tickets, I see that I have 
four and you have five. Mm -hmm. And the majority of midway tickets also gives you um, mm. gives you two more points. And this is what I will do. I will end the round <gasps> and I will also win the majority in red. Oh, no. And then I'll get another one. This is again in the end overkill here. But yeah, mm. this was from Daniel. And then I get two midway tickets. Oh, man. That's a good round for you. Good way to close it out. Yeah, so the round ends mm -hmm. right now. And um, so we move the red marker to... We move it to the scoring of the first round. And then we start with midway tickets. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you just snuck so, by me. So, so how many six. midway tickets do you have? I have five. So you get five coins. We mm -hmm. just um, could say we pile it up here. Yep. The midway tickets then go away. Mm -hmm. And I have a um, total six midway tickets. Mm -hmm. And I get another bonus of two because I won the little yeah. midway ticket fight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a good move by you at the end there. Yeah, and then I think we go clockwise around the... Uh, yeah, with the exhibits, wheel. yeah. Um, so yellow. Um, you win it clearly with yep. three to one. Mm -hmm. So you get for that two... Oh, I get a little ribbon. Ribbon, Very two nice. points yeah. for that. And then you can um, approve up total to up to three. Yeah. So, of course, I will approve the two yellow that I had, the two exhibits. Mm -hmm. I also can make another pile of exhibits and next I to have it. And my exhibit tokens. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Now we have to um, half. Um, we have to remove cubes. Mm -hmm. And we use for every two cubes, you have to remove one cube. So I have one, so I don't have to remove any cube, mm -hmm. and you have three, so I only have to remove mm -hmm. one. That's mm, not bad. I still have two there okay. for next time. Then, um, Quay, it's again very clear for you. Mm -hmm. Another rip. And I'm guessing you... I will do yeah. both, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah definitely. Okay. Give up those two. Then I will, will remove two cubes. Oh, and sadly, <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the board is yours. Okay. So. Then blue, <laughs> I get two victory points. Um, I will also get two, I can approve two mm -hmm. exhibits, so this comes away. And I remove only one cube, you also remove a cube. Oh, yeah. that's true. <laughs> okay, then red. <laughs> Luckily, I also win this one. <laughs> um, I only have one red card, sadly, at least one. And I have to remove two cubes, and you have to remove one cube. And then green one, the green, I get again, <laughs> lucky <laughs> two, <laughs> I get um, three exhibit tokens. Not bad at all. I will put them onto the pile here. <laughs> so these monster piles are ready. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to remove two. Two, yeah. Not bad at all. Okay, so that was the first round. Yeah. And so what we did not do, we did not um, put down new cards for ending the round. Mm -hmm which I will do now, mm -hmm. uh, quickly. And so now a specialty, because already here are three cards at yellow, and on, you can see the triangles say how many cards can be placed down there, so it's full. So we jump over this and put down a card here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I think it's round two, and yep. I finished the first round, so you can... It's my turn. Yeah, yeah it's your turn. Mm -hmm. I'm going here again. Mm -hmm. So I get a midway ticket again. Okay. And then I get two guys for later. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And here one. Oh no, there's a spot at the green. Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. That's okay. It, it's warm. I mean, <laughs> it's warm. <laughs> Your brain isn't working. Okay, well, that actually made green even better for me. So I'm coming here. I get two midway oh, tickets. I have to fight you there. You cannot no, win it. <laughs> and I also have Cyrus. So I come here with Cyrus. Um, he goes away. And then I have these cards. I think I just need to be a pain. No, I will fight you <laughs> to the end. Yeah, that you could really... Really yeah, this is not a question if it's not better for me to just mess you up. <laughs> no, please don't. I mean, there's only one card there. Not so exciting anymore. I think you forgot one. Or I am, um, yeah. <laughs> it's getting to you. <laughs> so now I go to red. 
Okay. And I have two guys. I have George Davis. No. I will put guy <laughs> one here. So and I think you want to win Quay this time. <laughs> no, I don't. I definitely don't want to win Quay. I think so. <laughs> it's pretty good, I think, Quay. And you can do a lot with Quay. You have here, what do you have? You have the Schweizer Uhren, so you can give the Swiss, get the Swiss clocks. I mean, and I like clocks, but <laughs> I also like agriculture, so... One, two, uh, three. Okay. See, you can even get a Viking ship at Grey. This is difficult, because if I go to Grey, I will get a cube on green for the next time. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but, hmm... Then I have so many cubes over at gray, which is a little bit overkill, but mm, okay. I'm gonna come to gray. I'm not sure if this is the right decision, but we're gonna try it out. Mm -hmm. Probably not, <laughs> but I get two guys. And, you also have no, a very colorful mixture there. Yeah, I like it, but let's see if I can turn it into approved I don't <laughs> have to just now finish the game very quickly. No, please don't do that either. So I'm putting one on green no, because oh. I get two midway tickets. <laughs> Terrible. And I have the Augustus here, which gives me a good. Oh, you so you're gonna win all the exhibits. You're killing me in this game. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I hope this is clear. Okay. Yeah, this is not going well at all. Ah, oh, George. Hmm. Hmm. So Daniel. Yeah, I mean, I think for me to have any chance of winning this game. I have to come here, and mm -hmm. so I get George. Mm -hmm. For next time, I have my Cyrus guy, so I get another cube there, and then I have George Westinghouse, and I come over to yellow. Thank you. So let's see, and I get George Davis for next time. At least I have a special cardigan. A special mm. cardigan? <laughs> a special cardigan. <laughs> Okay. I wish I had one now, it gave me luck in the game. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm guessing I will go for... Hmm, I want midway tickets. I'm going here to blue. Okay. Yeah, so one midway ticket mm -hmm. more, mm -hmm. and then I get two guys. Mm -hmm. And yeah, do my midway, midway ticket, and then a gray card. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I also want midway tickets. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, then it would basically... Oh, wait, do I want midway tickets? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I'm definitely going to either red or yellow, because then I can put down a cube at green with my George guy. But the question is, if I get two midway tickets, then you can definitely end it next time and you can block me at green mm -hmm. by putting a guy there so maybe i don't want to get midway tickets hmm. yeah i'm going to come to yellow it doesn't have any midway tickets and then i'm going to use george davis so i'm okay. going to come to green and at least i'm tied with you right now then for the next round because there's definitely a next round because you can't end the game i have two maybe characters can, no, you no cannot. there cannot. is no, you need three midway tickets yeah, and yeah. there's no opportunity for that. Okay. You can definitely get a lot of midway tickets. I will definitely get, yeah. yeah. I will definitely go for a midway ticket. I only, I only have so many, not so many cubes left. Mm -hmm. Now the question, if I go for, yeah, I'm guessing I'm going here to make it certain. Mm -hmm. And then I'm using my yellow and my blue guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, almost I'm running out of cubes. Mm -hmm. And then I have two. Mm -hmm. I, get I only see is blue card. when I look at <laughs> your whatever teal color you are. Oh, your giant pile of midway tickets now. Okay. Okay. So are you ending the game now? Yeah, definitely. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely coming to green okay. because I want to have mm -hmm. a majority there because I have three cards. I get a midway ticket, so we'll end the game. But first I have two mm -hmm. special cards for red. Sadly, I can't gray. do anything yeah. there. And gray, which I already and have like a ton. for the midway ticket. Yep. And these guys yeah. come okay. to me. And these come away. So this was mm -hmm. then, it ends after this round. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to put their new cards around. Mm 
Mhm. Ja, so, now let's look at the midway ticket. I have to pick the <lacht> Oh, up to excuse count. me. <lacht> I have eight. eight. Okay. okay, so I get ten points. That's not bad. So. Do we have even enough coins? Three, four, five. Okay, now I only have three, sadly. So. Also, okay, you have three points. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put my little pile there. Yeah, then we start with yellow. Okay. And also take away the cards. Yeah, that's more clear. So I won yellow. Mm -hmm. um, and I have three. Okay. Oh, well, first I get a little ribbon, yeah. right? And then I have three, so mm -hmm. I'm definitely getting three tokens for my approved exhibits. Oh, you won queen in the end. Yeah, of course I did. Oh, I, I, <laughs> I worked hard for that. It. <laughs> it's like it's clearly too warm. Okay. So you have one. Yellow. Okay. okay. Then grey. And I also won grey, so okay. I get a ribbon. And I have three also, so I will take three. Yeah, I'm also giving you these two back. It doesn't matter not anymore. No. But... So my greys are gone, and I get three grey. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I get three, three back, back mm -hmm. and one back. And blue, I won. Mm -hmm. And I have three blue, luckily. Okay, so. well, yeah. Not bad. Okay, so three and mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. I won also red. Yeah, that was an important one for you. So I get two red. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're like a giant <laughs> pile there. <laughs> and I'm taking away two and I'm take away one. one. And I won green, finally. <laughs> <laughs> so I get a ribbon. Um, and I will, of course, get three green yeah. because I need them for my collecting. Yeah, and then we can now count our points. Mm -hmm. We are now coming to the scoring phase of the game. We will sum up our money, our awards, and then our um, approved exhibits. Mm -hmm. um, you are starting by, so you can say first how much money you have. So I have 19 coins from mm -hmm. the midway tickets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I got in total 21. Mm -hmm. So it's very okay. close already. Yeah. 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 Okay, prizes won? I won seven prizes, which were each two, so 14. And I won eight prizes, so 16 points. Okay, also very close. Yes. Um, so for my set collection, I had three full sets, uh -huh. so each one was 15 points, so that's 45. Uh -huh. And then I had two little sets with three, uh, two each, so that's three points each, uh -huh. so that's 51 points okay. total. And I, for me, it's also very similar. I also had three full sets, so also mm -hmm. here 45 points, and then two sets with two each, so three points each, so we are also at 51, but then I have one oh, your last green. approved ex <laughs> <laughs> exhibit, which gives me another point. Yeah. I have 52 points okay. there. So if we sum this up, <laughs> you have one. 84 points, and I have 89, 89. points. Yep, yep it, was, it was close. Yeah. It was, yeah. You started out strong with the exhibits, mm -hmm. and then you got the mm -hmm. midway tickets at the end, and the yeah. the character cuts are, I think, very really strong. strong. Yeah, yeah, you just get more cubes on the on the board, so that helps. Yeah. But for a family style game, I think there's still enough to think about and interesting Definitely. decisions to make. Yep, I agree. World's Fair 1893 is a very good lightweight game that is easy to learn and can be nicely used to introduce players to area control and set collection. We really enjoyed the design and the historic theme, although the theme could easily be exchanged with something else. The flavor text on each card is an excellent touch and provides some fun and interesting facts about the World's Fair in Chicago. We found that the game scales really well with all player counts. World's Fair is definitely a family style game with a high dependency on what other players do and of course where they put their cubes. And so through this, the game feels very interactive. The game has a simple action flow, put down one cube, maybe use an action card, and so the game can be easily explained to everyone. Yet the simple action step involves just the right amount of decision making that the game is also really interesting for more experienced gamers. The game can feel repetitive, however, and we rarely played the game two times in one night, but we did find that it was a fun game to bring to the table with different groups of friends. We really enjoy World's Fair 1893 and are definitely keeping it in our collection. 
We would recommend the game to people looking for a family style game with a decent amount of player interaction and some great decision making opportunities. Thank you for watching Games Up. See you next time.